So uh, the women came out pretty healthy. Um, you know, first of all, I, I hope that uh, Shiloh and Shador are okay. Looked like uh, you know, both of them, I believe Shador couldn't maybe, I don't know if he could finish or not, but Shiloh got taken and was out. So hopefully, hopefully they're both okay. I think they're great players, great competitors, and um, you know, wish them the best. But uh, really proud of our team. Um, you know, defense scored second week in a row. Uh, got some contributions. My kind of game, we won the game, there's still a lot to improve. So I get to be the coach and be happy at the same time for a night. So we'll have some questions yet. What did you uh, what did you think of the atmosphere inside the stadium? Was it what you hoped it would be? Uh, I was more it was a little electric, you know, I mean the, 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 again the crowd noise was fantastic. Um, the energy was fantastic. Um, the air players fed off that. And uh, you know, I think it's you know in this in this modern era of communication, all that it's really hard to it's really hard to play in an atmosphere like that. So Thank you to the student section. They were there early. Thank you to our fans. It was uh, it was really a special night. After last year's loss in Boulder and coming back this year and just making a statement of with this win, what does that mean for like the rest of the season then? Um, I don't think it's like I said. I don't think it's a referendum. Um, you know, I think uh, last year had to happen so that this year could happen. Um, I think that's a lesson for that I take with me all the time. You know, sometimes uh, sometimes bad things have to happen to you. Uh, so that the old you can die and a new one can be born. So um, a lot of guys that you know, chose to come back and play, play with us this year, or go through the, the struggle, they came back. A lot of young guys didn't have a chance to really play. You know, we won the turnover battle for the second week in a row. I don't know that we turned the ball over. We had a block pump, which obviously isn't good enough. But, um, you know, uh, um, so we have to keep in better, right? But this was, a, this was a big moment, you know, so it was really big for us to show up and not back down from their stars. Because we're a little different. Um, our team is our star, right? And uh, I know Dylan's getting a lot of publicity. We had a lot of guys who could be stars, but defense is a star. So everyone kept talking about this guy, that guy, that guy. And I kept saying, hey, they're forgetting our defense. They're forgetting the black shirts. And had we not had that block punt, you know, lean to that field position and then that tough targeting call, um, they wouldn't have scored today. And so um, even at the end of the week, we chose to take a knee. So, um, it was a, just kind of an overall win, but hey, we got to play again next week. We've got a lot to do. I know that you brought some pressure in the second half on Shadur, but a lot of what you guys were able to do, you did with three and four man pressures. How proud were you of your defensive front tonight and the relentlessness and passion? Yeah, there was, and even the pressures we brought, sometimes we're bringing like, we're dropping a guy and bringing one, so it's still like, really like a four man rush. I mean, we had a couple, like, he brought all out pressures in. Um, he brought one with the fourth and one, but for the most part, like, we just played coverage. Uh, we trusted our big guys, and really the times they made plays were. They got outside of us, you know. So if you, we were coaching the guys hard tonight, coaching the whole way through the game. I mean, this they, we have to learn how to play with a lead. You know, that the game was really wasn't much of a contest in the second half, and so you're sitting there like, you know, hey, we just just not turn the ball over. We have to find that middle place of aggression, you know. And so we're still working through a lot of that, right? Um, but uh, um, I thought the I thought the defensive line came to play, and they had a really good week of practice. But as importantly, there was no one running free. You know, they didn't have any free runners. Hit one seam ball, they were going empty. But I thought a lot of guys, and even Willis got it at the end, gets a sack fumble, so a uh, big day for him. How what important do you think it was to your guys to set the tone physically from the start? Yeah, I mean, we have three goals when the turnover battle, be the most physical team on the field and have a culture of execution. There was a ton of penalties, you know, just a ton of penalties. And I, you know, we, we have the iPads now, I and mean, I looked at a lot of them. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. I mean, I, I was disappointed, you know, we didn't get big calls going our way. It's a Big 12 crew, so I can't get fined by them, I don't think, so I'll say that. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, uh, so there's a lot of things to fix, but but I thought we were really physical. You know, what and you I thought even that first run, again, I hate the Shiloh got hurt, but, you know, I thought Dowdell set the tone with his physicality, running the football, and, um, yeah, we're, we're, but we are a physical team. You know, we might have some areas that we have to improve on, but we are a physical team. Can you say that? Ty Robinson and that 50 block a field goal, um, had a sack on the first series, just his, his impact. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes, I'm, honestly, sometimes I'm going to say, I told you so. Like, I sure kept saying how good he was, and everybody kept saying, well, it's stats. I'm like, I'm just telling you. And so, like, he's a dominant player. Every scout that comes in, I'm like, I'm just telling you guys. He's a dominant, dominant, dominant fo football player. They can play four positions, and he plays hard. He about broke my neck walking down the thing. He was so happy that we won, you know, grabbed me. and Because he's one of the guys who came back. I love him. I'm proud of him. So, um, you know, that, that's why I'm not doing a big you know, referendum on To me, this was like, this was like my guys, you know. I said something on, 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 on Tuesday, or Wednesday, Tuesday press conference, and no one really picked up on it. I said, hey, you know, I think Sam asked me about Shadur, or Shadur Sam, what he said about me, and I really didn't care. Maybe I had a great visit with some of those guys before the game. 
But I said, hey, you know what? He's defending his father. My son would too. And I said, I think my, you know, I got some guys in there I think will too. And uh, I love Ty. I love Jamari. I love those guys. This has been the best. This has been one of the best experiences of my life coaching these guys. So I'm happy they had a chance to get a win. And they're going to come in on Monday and they're going to think it's the worst game they ever played. And by the time we're done, and we'll get ready for next week. What did Dante and Ramirez show you that allowed them to get the bulk of the carries that they did tonight? Yeah, I thought we had some. I thought we had some flash plays early, and so I just kind of stayed with them. Um, even Ramirez has that long one at the end. But you know, um, this is a game. You know, this is a game that you know we just kind of went with. Even across the board, we didn't do a ton of rotating. You know, we just kind of played the guys that well, on defense we played most of the older guys, and um, just a unique game. Got up early, and but uh, yeah, um, there's no referendum on those other two. It was Gabe and Emmett will play a ton of football as we move forward. But I thought early on Dante set the tone, and uh, Ramirez did some good things, so we kind of just stuck with that. How did you feel like Dylan played and then in the second half when you guys trying to make sure that you didn't put it in harm's way with some of like that? Yeah, it wasn't really about him. It was just, you know, like honestly, the heart, I mean, you're not going to have a lot of games like that in the Big Ten where you're like, hey, they can't score. So if they can't score, what do you do, right? You know, so again, we, and I was pushing us on offense to be aggressive. You know, again, when you take away some of those penalties, and we are pretty aggressive, right? You know, and we had some mistakes, right? We call a counter, the guard doesn't pull, or something that happens wrong, and you get hit for a loss. and. You know, we still have, we have to get a lot better in the field goal game. Like, I should be able to kick those field goals. And, then I, and so we have a lot of work to do. The snaps don't, you know, we have some things to work on. And that's not calling anybody out. That's just coming out of the game, like game flow. Hey, let's just add three points here. Let's add three points there. But a lot of those penalties really hurt us. That would have been a 300-400 yard rushing game with that long run and all that because I think we finished with 185. So, um, um, I forgot, I'm sorry, Sam. I forgot what you said. I'm not pretty I feel like Dylan played. And oh, I thought Dylan was trying play. to, you know, make sure he didn't throw an interception. No, I, no. I mean, we, we – uh, you know, they were bringing a ton of heat. We were having a hard time picking up. They were, they were bringing everybody, right? And, uh, um, you know, we just, you know, we got some DPIs. And we took a couple shots. And we were just, you know, we think, think back to the one goes off, you know, tapped Thomas's hands, one goes off Jalen's hands. You know, we hit Jalen on the one. So we, we let him let it rip. Um, um, but uh, hit the seam ball, you know, backed up. We were backed up at second and 20. We throw the seam ball to work at your like, we're, So I didn't think we, we just overall, um, just kept just trying to find, because we, we got to the 75 yards rushing right off the bat. And then they just changed everything. When Shiloh went out, they started playing some cover too. They started bringing some different pressures, and and um, defense scored. And just felt like we got a little discombobulated, maybe. But I, I, I'm gonna put the ball in Dylan's hands. I trust him. Your, your guys have even started to talk about complimentary football, and you had the moment last last week after the safety, after Bashini's punt down to the two with the pick six. You know, how much of that is the kind of stuff you've been preaching to them for a year and a half, and, and how big of a moment for momentum do you think that was in the game? That was a huge moment. You know, well, I was happily happy for Brian and. Uh, a couple times I said to the guys in the field, you know, even like when we start talking to the other team, I said, hey, guys, we've been trained. Like, we know, you know, like, we, like, like we botched, we botched the two-minute warning. Like, we, we could have milked the clock down to one second and gotten the ball to the two-minute warning. So we gave the ball back to them, which is a, just a, it's not good enough. Now, luckily, we got the ball back, and then we went down and scored. It's two weeks in a row now. Dylan and the offense have gone down in two minutes right before the half and put the ball in the end zone. But, um, yeah, I think, so I think the complimentary football's there, and, um, 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 our guys are understanding it. I think coaches are doing a good job preaching it. Hey, Coach, uh, this is a team that you played tonight that brought in an entire new offensive line, and your front seven seemed to not have much of an issue with that. Is that more the players executing, or is that something you saw on film? I, I think we have good players. I, think we have, I just think we have really good players. You know, I, I have to, I and I haven't seen the tape yet, so it's hard for me to say what happened. But we have really good players. Um, they execute a really difficult scheme that requires a lot of a lot of thought and a lot of teaching. And um, um, you know, we, we think we have five or six or seven starters on the front D line. I think MJ and Prince were interchangeable. We put Willison at the end. He gets a sack fumble. I mean, we got really good players. It's a credit to the guys. How happy were you for uh, you know Tommy to have that moment? How hard he's worked the last year. That's the big thing. Yeah, I mean, everyone kept talking about the other team's corners. I kept saying, like, Tom, Tommy's a first-rounder. And, uh, you know, um, he went to the other side. And Travis is a great player. I'm not saying anything about Travis. I'm saying, but Tommy's a good player, too. Like, and that's why I kept telling our guys at halftime, like, hey, we have to – I didn't want to make this game about the other team because I think we have good players. I want to make it about us. I think we have good players, and Tommy's an excellent player. And he he broke, and he didn't jump something. He, he played his technique. He broke. He saw it. He went and got the ball. He intercepted it. And, and then he – you know, he went out and played the next drive. <laughs> so I think Tommy's one of the best players in the country. You talked about playing with a lead. Now, now that you've got some momentum, how do you how do you coach these guys to, to, to prepare and play game after game with that kind of momentum and belief that the fan base has? Yeah, like we our preparation will not be our issue. Our guys our guys work their butts off. I mean, we practice really hard, and our guys work their butts off. Um, 
I think just, you know, again, learning how to finish. You know, we still haven't solved the close game thing because we haven't been in that. And I think probably a lot of people thought this would be a close game. I'll be honest with you, we, we, we expected this score. Like, we expected this to be like this. Um, we have a good team, and we, we felt like we were going to play really well tonight. Um, so um, we're, we're going to keep, we're going to go right back to work and treat this like a game that we lost. You know, um, uh, that's what we did last week. Like I told you guys, correct the correctables. And, I, and that's a really good football team. Like they'll, they'll, they'll make a ton of noise in the Big 12. Guarding number five and guarding number 12 and guarding number two, those are as, those are as good a players as you know, you'll, you'll play against. And, and on the defensive side, they're as active and violent a defense as we'll see. So um, we're, we're just going to work. And I think the biggest thing is we have great competition. A lot of guys want to play. Corey keeps making plays. Jalen, now we got Jalen involved again this game. Thomas made a big patch down the middle. So we just have a lot more I think we have to get done. Coach, with the defense playing as well as it has, and then you have Dylan off-platform throw across the field down to the two on national TV. Just how excited are you as a coach, and how excited should your fan base be right now? Uh, well, I, okay. <laughs> um, and that was just for, for the play by Dylan was great. That, that, that's a roll throwback. That's a great call, great play design. They, they said they had it, and they hit it. It's cover two. Jalen did a great job. Just, I mean, the ability by Jalen to come back and get that ball was, was fantastic. And, Dylan trusting him. But I, I think the biggest thing about Dylan is, you know, we, we're going to turn the ball over. You know what I mean? Like we're protecting the ball, still being aggressive. And uh, we've, had, we've had a good defense. The defense just needed some help. We have a lot of work to do on special teams. Right? We've got a pump block, miss a field goal, kick. We've got to give them a 70 yard kickoff return. So there, there's a lot of those things. In terms of the fan base, what I would say is <laughs> let's just take it one game at a time. <laughs> let's just, where, we, where, where our players will get in trouble and everyone will get in trouble is we'll start zipping ahead to like four weeks from now, five weeks from now. Um, we have not earned that right. We have not earned the right to start looking ahead. Like, all we're going to do is we're going to, like, even when we lost to Colorado, I mean, I remember with Trev, I said, I said, just give it a year, Trev. I said, I'll, I'll we'll play these guys next year and we'll be different. But that just does day by day by day work. And so we're going to come in this week and we're going to prepare like crazy for Northern Iowa. And I hope our fans, I hope our fans, you know, come out and next week sounds just like this week because it's really hard. I mean, I want the fans to know. I don't know how well we would play in that atmosphere if we were the visitor. It is so hard. And so if they can just do that every week, I'm telling you it's an advantage. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know if I answered your question, but I think people should be pretty excited. I, I'm going to tell you something. Don't mistake my stoic. Look, I'm fired up, okay? I'm fired <laughs> up. I'm fired up, but I'm fired up for the guys because those are my guys. And, uh, you know, and then uh, Bud Crawford, you know, he came in, talked to the team last night, and let us out tonight, gave him a game ball. And, uh, you know, we want our guys to know that you know, we have we have celebrities here in Nebraska too that care about us. All good. Anybody else? All right, thank you guys. Thank you.